Hey you, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mods 9. Guys, we are here! Um, it's raining. That's, that's a lot better. So yeah, we're here, All The Mods 9. Guys, we had a live stream a couple of days ago, and we put the remaining walls on, and, um... Not the, not the end cap over here and didn't finish this up, but we put the roof on, the end cap. Uh, I did this off camera. We now have a second story. This is where uh, all of our um, tech is gonna go. I have a feeling I'm actually going to put a floor at this level and we'll just have this as the roof and the floor as the different block color. Um, but yeah, we have it, it feels good. I've got a bunch of the, uh, we have a mega torch and then a feral the feral flare lantern and that gives these spots it detects where the dark spots are and lights it up uh, i got a couple of these on the roof just to keep any mobs from spawning up here even though we do have the torch uh we just want it to look really nice but uh yeah we're gonna get on today and we're gonna be working over in here on the whole reason we built these guys that you can't see the whole reason we built these guys was for more power, right? We have more power in the system, but we're literally not using it. I think I'm only charging my jetpack to use it. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna get into that. And as you can see from up here, we've got a lot of stuff to do. We're gonna be starting with the builder from RF Tools. So let's get this far departed. All right, so the builder from RF Tools, I have a feeling once all the modium gets updated or all the mo mods, uh, their actual pack gets updated, this is going to have all the modium in it. Um, so yeah, it's important that we jump on this sooner than later. We're on current, we're on version 0 .0 0.0.45. Um, so yeah, there've been 45 different updates of the pack. They've been really good. So that's been, that's been nice. But now I need to find an Enderman and slay him. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. We got a bunch of Enderman over here. Hopefully I don't die. I'm gonna beat up. I'm just gonna come up here and eat a little bit. All right, we got a total of nine ender pearls. That was pretty quick, pretty fast, almost died. That's okay. We should probably go to the the end dimension sooner than later. Um, but yeah, that's all we needed for the builder. And obviously, um, I'm actually gonna make a few of these just because we can. Okay, yeah, so we have a total of four. I'm only gonna use one today, uh, but like we can have one for the nether, we can have one for the end if there's anything we need to farm there. Uh, we can have one in like the all the modiums dimension once they update that, so that'll be really good. Uh, but now we just need a shape card for this guy. Booyah, shape card. And we're not using my good tools for this. Jeez, we do not have a lot of diamonds. Good, okay. Good, okay, shape card is ours. Awesome. So now that we have these two things, we need to work on some flux networks. Um, we're gonna be switching to these guys over these guys here because these, I, I believe these have a limit of how much they can actually transfer unless we start to upgrade them. Um, and the flux networks, I don't believe have a limit and they're rather easy to get. Um, so we need to get some obsidian. Okay, we need some redstone and Left click the obsidian. Okay, I'm gonna go down to go down to the mine. All right, so we're gonna turn our handy dandy magnet off. We got some uh, obsidian here. So all we're gonna do is take this redstone, put this here, and there we go. Got ourselves some flux dust, which is awesome. We're gonna go ahead and make a flux block. Ooh, that's that's not very good. Um, so we need more. We need more ender pearls. Good thing is we have a lot of blaze essence. Good. So now we can make a couple of ender pearls. Um, we needed obsidian. All right, I got some obsidian essence here. And we go around like this. Boo, yeah, we got it. We got a bit, that's nice. That yields a good amount. Okay, all right, so we got five of those. So flux block, we need those, good. Okay, so let's make ourselves one flux block. This is going to go here like so, and then now we can convert, we just grab a piece um, of obsidian. And anytime we wanna convert it, we don't have to go down to bedrock. We can just utilize that and make ourselves some flux dust. So that's that's really nice and handy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna need at least, well, we need one more. And then we need a flux plug and we need a flux point. And that's kind of the end, <laughs> it's funny. So I, that side's taken, I guess we could just use this side for it. Flux plug. Um, got a couple of new network. This will be turtle power. 
encrypted password. Okay, and green, turtle power. There we go. All right, bypass limit, chunk load. I don't know if that works for chunk loading. This guy, let's plug, okay, should be working good. So to test it out, we'll put this guy here. Take this. Yeah, it is working. Good, very good, okay. So I wanna go out kind of a ways. Oh, we also need a way to get items out of here. Um, How many ender, eyes of ender do we have? We have one. Hmm. All right, so I got one more ender pearl. I just had to go kill a, a uh, um, enderman. So we're gonna be making an ender pouch. So that, oh, thank goodness. I thought I had misclicked it or something. So we need two ender pouches, good. And then, oh, we need some obsidian. We just need obsidian, okay. Hopefully we have enough. I don't think we do. <laughs> oh, well, well, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Oh, look at that, the perfect amount, let's go. Okay, so we are gonna have triple white be our main in for our network. Uh, so I'm gonna take these, let's snoop. Ooh, someone's got a bunch of uranite. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, we'll leave it there. Um, but once we do this, these are now linked to me. So any uh, diamond encoded triple white ender chest, uh, it can only be linked to the person who puts the diamond on it, or actually, I don't know if I were to give this to one of the members, could they put it down and it would still be linked to me? I don't know about that. But anyway, if I put the diamond on it, it's linked to my character. So this triple white will always be linked to us. So we're gonna put this guy here for now. Uh, oh, wait, no, we're not. Um, oh, I got a, an achievement for breaking my own ender chest. So I think, I think, uh, I think sometimes, only sometimes, not all the time, but having it on this wall somewhere, I think is the gonna look good. It's gonna be the best. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm just leave, these two are gonna be, like, I'm not mirroring this on the other side. These are just gonna be the only reactors we have. Hmm. Hmm, decisions, decisions. The other thing too is we are really low on deep slate. So I think I'm just gonna put this here for now. Okay, yeah, so we're not doing anything too advanced here, but this is where the items will come in and then we can have furnaces and then we can line this up maybe with some chests or our storage for it. Uh, and then we'll have access to it. Uh, and then up here will be where our ME system will live. And I think it'd be cool to do a glass dome on top and then inside the dome, we have our ME controller, like our big one and all the cables running to it. I think that's gonna be really cool. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, so we have power, we have the inner chest, we have the shape card, very good. So I do want to kind of go out a little bit this way because I noticed that not all of the ores are spawning close by because they were generated at earlier versions of the pack. Um, so I'll just need to head out here. Okay, so this seems kind of like a fair spot. Just wanna make sure we're not gonna be encroaching on anyone. Um, actually, I'm gonna go back down, back down this way. I just, we're getting a little close to Bendy's base and I don't want to like encroach on him. Uh, and I also don't know, like he could have loaded all of these chunks earlier. Um, then when we had like prosperity shards and stuff like that in there, so yeah. So I found an ancient city on the way. Um, yes, how do you accidentally find an ancient city? Well, I found this deep cave and it looked really cool and I flew down in it and there was an ancient city at the bottom. So yeah, I'm just looking, looking at these chests. We're about to spawn in a warden, but I have become not afraid of them at all. So I am the man and here it comes. Oh no, we got it. Okay, we got one more. This is tough because I can't see. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, there we go, smithing template. That's what I wanted. That would be our buddy. Come over here, pal. He's gonna chomp on this apple. He's trying to smell me. Bye, warden. Ooh, diamond. Put on my fortune pick out upon me. Oh, more diamonds. It's kind of guarding this chest. It's being mean. It's okay. Oh, that didn't work. Wonder if he can smell the jet fuel coming out of my jet pack on his face. Yeah, see, this is the cave. It just looks really cool. Came all the way down from the surface somewhere. Yeah, here's the surface. But look at this. Just cool looking. It was way down there. Nice cave. I got a nice uh, diamond hope. But anywho, I'll get back to this, what we were doing. Hey, look at this. Smithing template, cool. Ah, blood moon. Kitty slippers. I'm looking for the rabbit slippers that negate fall damage and I'll be happy. Whoa, there's seashells up here. This is a stony shore up in the middle of the mountains. Um, but I think, yeah, I think this is far enough away. Yeah, we're about 
par there. Don't see anyone in the area. Yeah, we should, we should be good. All right, good, okay. So we're gonna set this up this way. I got a lot of, I got a few stuff in my inventory now. All right, so we load this guy in here. And we're gonna configure it. We want it to be solid. And we're just gonna max this out. Oh, we can't hit tap. Oh, geez. Um, let's say 500 again. Five, well, okay. And we're gonna void stone, cobble, dirt, gravel, sand. That should be good. Enable tag matching. I think that's how you do it. And so now we're gonna support the preview mode and figure out where we need to adjust this. It might just have to go up. Oh, maybe that's lagging the server a bit. Okay, so I don't know exactly where this is because we're up at Y level 500. Um, so, oh, interesting. There it is. So I'm thinking we don't need, oh, hang on. A little bit of lag. I think we don't need it to be over 200 blocks. So this should definitely help. I'm also wondering, can we set it? Say like here, no, shoot, 200 blocks. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so it did load in. So we're at Y level 91 and this goes up about, so we need it to be minus like 100 blocks. So we need to turn that off. This will go away. Yep, there it goes, good. Okay, oh, that spawned bombs. That's a little crazy. Okay, so we're gonna say like minus um, 120, okay? And then we're gonna preview it again. Okay, so it would start here on this level. It's minus 120. I want it to start way lower. So Y level 71. Let's have it go down another 30 blocks. So we'll turn that off, that's good. All right, and then we'll say, Minus 150 and we'll preview it again. We should see a little bit some. Yeah, okay. So this is the Y level it would start on 41. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's really good. Cause we have, we have coal seeds, we have, we have uh, copper seeds. So this is a good level for it to be on. So what we're gonna do is down below, even though it doesn't mine this little area around it, I don't wanna have to worry about it. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna place this on top. We can put that in there and we can hit start. Ignored, start. So we should see here, yep, we're, we're getting materials. Good. So let's, oh shoot, no way this is on a chunk F3G. Oh, thank goodness, okay. So if we're in this chunk, it'll be loaded. I was about to be really upset. Okay, so chunk loaded. I believe we can also set this to say to be chunk loaded, but is it chunk loaded? I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, it's already getting us materials. So we go back home, F3G to get rid of the chunk borders. And if we check, check this guy out, we should see Booyah. We are getting stuff in here and get off my hand. It is loading in. Good, very good. However, it's not fortuning anything, which is something we kind of need it to do. So let's see, shape quarry, fortune quarry, I believe, dimensional shards. Those are very easy to come by in the nether. So what we're gonna do is run to the nether real quick. All right, and here we go. We got some dimensional shards. We got 20. I think I might kill another enderman. Good, another ender pearl. Don't have many of those. Cool. All right, so we got the dimensional shards we need uh, and other things. Well, the reason I wanted to make this was for a waste stone. We didn't even need it. That's fine. Okay, we gotta wait. Just a little bit here. Maybe I could kill an Enderman or two while we while we do this. That could be fun. Gotta wait two seconds. Perfect, okay. So now we can place this here, label it as quarry, and boom, we're good to go. Now we can come back here anytime we want. We could even say, hey, stop. We're gonna grab this, slash home. A little bit of lag. Uses, turn it into a fortune quarry. Hang on real quick. So you need another star for a silk quarry. Yeah, we're definitely doing the fortune quarry slash back. Let's see, yep, it kept everything good so that we can just start this bad boy up again. Cool beans, so now we're fortuning all of the materials we're getting. Um, I think we should temporarily set up a couple of drawers. Um, we're gonna use pipes just because they're a little bit faster than what, uh, what, what's it, what it called? Ender IO has going on temporarily. So yeah, we're gonna utilize that. Okay, and then we'll wanna lock them in uh, no, it's functional. Do I have it in my backpack? Backpack, back, yep, nope, oh, there it is. Grab this fool. This essentially means our days of mining, I believe, are over, which is really, really nice. We're gonna go up like this. And again, we're only doing this just so we can build up some resources. Not like this, good. All right, and lock, 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 lock. Oh, we need one more here. Good. And then we need the pipe wrench. 
There it is, beautiful, I got energy pipes. All right, so then we set this to extract. We put the speedy boy on, and then now we say put iron here. Uh, ooh, we're getting deep slate too, I didn't realize. Tough, maybe some cobble. Uranite, let's go. Silver, man, we, we really need to figure something out for this guy. Zinc, platinum. Oh geez, we already filled up all of the cobbled deep slate. Um, I do have some copper seeds going, so we can make the upgrade. Ooh, get more copper seeds going. Okay, so I did end up adding a couple more um, drawers here. We seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, we got a couple of out, outlandish blocks here. Or not outlandish, but just some that are kind of outside of what we normally deal with. But let's look at processing all of these guys. Um, now, obviously certain things are gonna be able to be smelted, certain things are not. So we're gonna need to be able to filter them. So more than likely they will have two uh, pipes connected one on the left side one on the right side and they're gonna have filters that are gonna tell them which way to go really like well essentially we'll just tell them like whatever can go this way can go this way I guess um, but let's see here yeah so let's go ahead and get started on working on processing up all of the ores okay so I want to kind of go down the line here and we do have a couple of these guys uh, now obviously we're gonna have certain furnaces for um, certain things uh, but these these gold furnaces are going to be our processing furnaces um oof that was the last of our diamonds did we get any more yet from our from our system here how many we have to 11 let's go oh shoot um oh we're having some stuff get kind of backed up good put those there we'll lock it in and we'll take them out good okay so this will give us another diamond furnace which is good um recipe oh yeah so now we're just waiting on one more diamond to come into the system i guess we can wait for that i mean that shouldn't take too long with all of the area that we're covering oh look at that no there's none in there i thought i would be able to do it okay so i ended up going back to the um the place underneath <laughs> uh the deep dark that we were at earlier this episode and i did get some awesome stuff yes that's that's all the information i have no i got some more diamonds and a couple more things like this armor template so i think that's both from the ancient city that we have now which is really cool <clears throat> okay so let's make some obsidian good how many emeralds do we so yeah all we need is two more two more emeralds i know i know where there's a village i think well yeah got one got one saved uh this is gonna go down actually skilly farm needs to come up okay so i call this place goron city uh because if you guys have ever played zelda it, this really feels like goron city because we're in the desert and uh yeah i just think it's kind of funny let's see is this a nitwit yeah he's a nitwit no one likes it i mean you, you can like him it's, oh you're just a little child hmm where's all the adults oh i see one you there sir what do you say? No, you're not very helpful. Are these your workstations? Yes. Okay. So we can bring. Uh, does it still show us what gives us emeralds from villager trades? No. Oh, blacksmith? Nope. That's from mine colonies. It used to show you, or used to have the ability to look through it as what could trade you emeralds. Um, I think a smithing station is, if I'm not mistaken. You there, villager. Do you want this? Hello, where are you going? Come back. Where are you going? Take this thing already. Yes, grab some emeralds. Actually, hang on a second. Okay, we need a blasting furnace. Yes, this guy. Okay. It's pretty cool that an alloy smelter does it three at a time because that, that was super simple. Okay, so now we got the blasting furnace. This is actually what we want the the trade we want this guy to have. Oh, that's an axe. I must ask you a question. Do you want this blasting furnace? Yes, you do. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're gonna cycle your trades. Have it. Nope. No, that's not good. Wait, come back here, you stupid. We want we want him to have the coal trade. Yes. Wait, no, I didn't want you to leave. Come back. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. No, he'll be back for it. Yes. Good. Now we can cycle this. Come on, give me the coal. Yes, perfect. Okay. <laughs> that's exactly what we wanted because we have so much coal that we can trade for emeralds. All right, let's 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 trade up with this guy. Good. Now he trades iron for emeralds. That's freaking awesome, but we already have enough for our furnace so that's good news oh yeah all right so here we hit uses and we should be able to put these into obsidian furnaces good and then this is netherite we don't quite have netherite yet um 
Netherite Essence. Need four Netherite ingots. And I have two Ancient Debris. So we, we got a lot to go when it comes to that. But that, that's totally fine. The um, Obsidian Furnaces will make do. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to need some blocks here. We're running really low on Deep Slate, which is good that our new farm over here is giving us a bunch of Deep Slate. So we're happy about that. How are we looking? Oh, we're looking terrible. Arcane Debris. What is this? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty handy. Okay, so hmm, that's here. We're going to have something here. We have a space. So kind of on this level is where we're going to have the fern eye. So I think I'll break these ones and we can just temporarily place them here. I mean, it works. They're being stored in a way. Um, we need, shoot, so like this, take it out, out, good, I guess, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and move this, and we're just gonna do something super simple, do it like that, okay, so, yeah, we'll have one coming up, that will have the pipe upgrade, filtering up, and then we'll have one below, going down and into the storage on the right and on the left, and then these guys... So it'll go up, back, up, and then down. Oh, wait, no, it won't. We need a way to double these ores. So like raw iron uses. We could use the hammer. Um, we could use a macerator. Mm, that's really all we have to double the ores at this time. The create method of mixing it with the hammer no longer works. They've patched this um, So what, from what I've been told. So that's a bummer. I guess a macerator is the only one and we potentially get another one from it. I mean, I think that's worth a try. You know, I don't have the steam macerator, basic macerator voltage. EU. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a lot more advanced than I thought it would be. Oh, we need a circuit assembler. I guess we're not going to be able to make the macerator yet. So these will just be pumped right in. Okay. We are going to use a pipe, like I said, because they're quite a bit faster. Um, yes, yeah, so let's try it out. So we'll be here. Um, I'm gonna have to move this guy to like here. Then we'll put this here. We'll block, block, okay. And then block these off, connect these together. And then these will meet up with the pipe going down here. We'll have one like this that comes out. Okay, we can't do it yet, but this, yeah. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're going to set up a system for powering each of these furnaces or having fuel in them. The cool thing is we can use RF power to do that. We need more redstone torches. It's always redstone. All right, so here we go. Wireless heat exchanger. Good. And then we're going to need to make three of these guys. Oops. Good. Okay, so I'll show you guys how this works. Now, we are going to utilize this one. Boom. This is filling up. Good. So we go here. That one's been linked. Yep. This one's been linked. And this one's been linked. So they're all linked up to that guy. And it means they'll be drawing power to smelt items instead of drawing fuel. So we'll act as fuel. So we don't have to worry about it. Now we can put our upgrades in here. Um, turn us into a factory. It uses power for heat instead of fuel efficiency. Look at the augments here. Blasting, smoking, speed. Okay, this is the one we want. Let's make some speed upgrades. Oh no, if only we had sugar cane. We've had so much sugar cane from the beginning. It's been great. Good. Okay. So one, two, and three. So now we can put these augments in here and they'll be even quicker. Good. Okay. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if blasting would be a good idea. And then we're also going to have to find a way to work with these guys can we simply throw these in does that does this work no okay so this might actually work out in our favor um huh i have this idea of utilizing a compacting drawer to our advantage hear me out if we set a filter on these guys pull out only the ingot versions of what we put in and we should be able to do it let's try it all right, so let's put it here and then the compacting guy here. You can set this oops, to be extract with a filter and the raw material we filter in, right? So yeah, this should start smelting. What happens if we put it? Oh, ah, so it does actually work. Not really. Hmm. Okay, 
Maybe we need some more speed. I'm kind of running low on, on diamonds here. Really low. Hmm. I don't know. We might have to have a specific drawer for each of them, which I don't think is the end of the world. It's just going to be a little bit tedious. Um, as we have block of raw osmium, block, block of raw lead. So we'll need one for each, which I don't think is the worst idea in the world because we're going to get a, a few of those. But okay, so we're smelting those. Let's work on getting some storage set up for those guys. Oh, I need to grab a bunch of cobble from this. Okay, so let's make a bunch of compacting. Oh, simple compacting drawer. That'd be perfect for what we're talking about doing. Okay, so that's good to know. Moving forward so we can make a full stack. Good. And we need a lot of smooth stone. Okay, so let's craft up a bunch of these compacting drawers now. Um, I don't, do I have, oh, we do have quite a bit. Good. Okay, so we got a full stack of the compacting drawers. Um, let's see about making the simple ones too. We don't need a whole lot of them. Maybe 10? Yes. Good. Okay, so let us see about using these now um yeah these are not filling in simple compacting drawers um actually i wonder if it'd be better if we just maybe threw it on top yeah we did something something like this and say a block of raw osmium we could put there platinum put there lead there silver uranium i think we should run these along the back maybe and oh we definitely need to lock them before i almost i almost connected them right up lock 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 okay they're all locked so... oh the jetpack is crazy sometimes oh gee oh gee what is why did that happen you go here you go here okay not really what i had in mind but we do seem to be holding those guys and I think we should be able to pull them out. Um, again, we need to add a white list and a white list here for copper, all of the ores, pebble, this raw silver, this raw silver, uh, raw gold, raw lead, raw zinc, raw platinum, nickel, we got silver, iron, I'm not gonna do uranite, uh, this kind of zinc, it's another pebble board. I think that's it that we've been getting. Okay. Okay. So we set up all these guys to be put here. And then once they're here, they get pulled out. We should have, yep, platinum being smelted up. Very good. Okay. So now we also have a bunch of these compacting drawers. Um, I'm going to set these up. So that's my original thought. Um, yeah. And on this side, this will be like all the processing things that we do or like the metals that have been processed. We'll do something different up top, but I want to do some like scaffolding, um, maybe even iron trap doors for the floor between, unless we have something really cool. Do I have any, hmm, we need some like industrial railing, if you know what I mean. Could also be cool to use railroad. <laughs> okay, I think it's just gonna be iron trap doors for the floor, which sounds interesting, but in reality, it's gonna, it's gonna look good. Okay, so let's start that up. But getting the items up there might look a little weird. Mm. Okay, so this is kind of the look we're gonna have here. We're gonna put support beams going up here. Uh, so don't worry about that. But then this is where the items will be. Very good. Um, I think we're gonna have the pipe run through here. Um, actually, we don't need that. It would be cool to eventually get, you know, the mechanism pipes. Um, just because I, I really, really like being able to see the items go inside the pipes. I think that's just a really cool novelty. Um, so let's see, small tunnel. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the pipe is connected here to the bottom. I think we'll run this one up to the top. I need to go ahead and lock each of these guys. And then the layer up above is going to be just like a two by two or drawer to hold all the extra items we might get. Yeah, but this is just for the metals. Actually, we may not even need that many. 15, a lot is here, here, and here. We can take the platinum and put it here. Take the osmium, put it here. Don't have anything going to this. All right, uranium goes here, lead here. And it's kind of jammed, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. The silver, 
goes here. Then over here, we can have the drawer controller. I guess that'd probably be easier just to run it over to this, but that might be able to hit all of them. Might have to have one here and one here, and then that connected up to our ME system, but that's okay. But now we have all of these guys kind of out of these. Really cool. Um, I need some more drawers. All right, dimensional shards going there. Andesite going there. Ancient this thing going there. Block of Osmium should have gone there. Huh. Oh, I see. We got some connections. Should not have been here. Hmm. Oh, that's because the blocks aren't listed to go out. Oh, we hit a big guy. An ancient city. Okay, so we got some copper that we need to get sorted. So copper can go there. Osmium's looking good. This one for some reason. Osmium goes there. Copper's going here. Do we have nickel yet? No, we don't. So nickel can go here. All right, the issue is we had like a little loop going in over on this side. There we go. So, so far we're doing pretty well. Um, should probably lock these so that any extra material just doesn't go into here, like say that. We can do this and make sure the blocks of material are good. Eventually we're gonna start uh, weeding all these guys out. So say, there we go. Then we can throw it back in through that block of raw tin. Do we have raw tin up here? Oh, wait, we don't have it here. So now if I do that, it doesn't have anywhere to go. There we go. So now tin, tin should be okay. And these are going to get stuck. Yep. So then that goes in. Good. Lead gets pulled out. Aluminum. Good. So aluminum can go here. Nice. So now I just kind of look for what gets stuck and we sort that ladders that's crazy you just like burn those or use those fuel somewhere would be a bad idea to put like some of the furnators just burn fuel that we can that might be fun yeah so right now i think all of the blocks of things get smelt or get processed so we just need to kind of wean these out a bit so let me put the raw silver in here those will go to the right spot. Those will get smelted up. They'll get processed. Uh, tin's got nowhere to go. Yeah, going somewhere, going somewhere, going somewhere. Cool. So now we get to throw kind of a facade onto this, uh, which is good because we we have a lot of deep slate now, cobbled deep slate. So we should be able to do that no problem. We'll get some of those, get some of these. Good. Okay. So I think I'm going to do something like this. It kind of comes around like that. We have access to it. Then we can do one of these and then we'll do smooth in between and then like this. And then we'll bring this around. I'm really just spitballing here. Just really like trying to dress it up because it's unfortunately this wall is going to be kind of flat. Okay, so I definitely think we make these stairs. Um, do I have any wood? I don't. Oh, those. Okay, stairs are definitely better. And I think we do stairs here as well. So this means that it kind of just gives us a little bit more sight into seeing Oops, the furnaces. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't place anything. Yeah, I like that. And then even do some of this and put some walls in between here here nice okay so yeah i mean this that it, it's pretty simple um so yeah the items get pulled out and pushed over there um the items here these actually don't need to be patched here block of raw silver we have silver yeah i think all we need to do is add it to the filter yep there it goes good and we're getting deep slate stairs deep cob and tile deep slate okay so how does it look if we swap this bottom for stairs putting this here just so i can place stairs yeah that's better that's a lot better okay wonder we could probably just put walls here give a little bit more depth yeah i like the, the walls definitely be in there cool okay so this is actually looking fairly well it's also working really well which is awesome um i don't have any complaints you know we'll, we'll obviously upgrade these guys as we go uh on this side is going to be the drawers but we need to make some framed drawers instead so let's look into that real fast um yeah you all get out of my inventory okay so the framed drawers we need lots of chests it's good because we have a lot of wood good okay frame drawer it's just iron nuggets huh okay, frame drawer got it yeah crafty window place the block you want to use the texture of on for the outside of the drawer in the first block in the crafting window in the second slot block okay so we want them to kind of match 
I think an iron block would probably match the best. Oh, here we go. So this is what I want it to look like. So we have block of iron here in the top left, block of calcite in the top right, and then the frame drawer in the bottom left. And this gives us 64 of this. So it should look fairly similar, um, which will be good. So, okay. Okay, so we got 15 of these guys lined up. All we gotta do is connect this here and this should be good to go. We actually don't need this. Um, so this will take out anything that fits. So my idea is we just start pulling crates out, let's say like this. Now these have nowhere to go and place it like this. We take redstone, we put it here, take all the redstone out here like so. We can also unlock it. And now I just kind of sort things where they need to be. Oh, that's already full. There we go. <laughs> cool. So the zinc, and, yep, the zinc goes up there. Unless we have another spot for it. No, we don't. Perfect. Does the zinc just get stuck in here? I think so. I don't think we have a spot for it yet. Here you go. The zinc. So now these, yep, they're being emptied. Perfect. Okay. So zinc has been taken care of. I know platinum's good to go. Yellow, right? What do we do with yellow? We just smelt it into uranium. Okay. It's pretty simple. So we just do one of those. Good. All right, so now the method I did for this drawer, I just do for all the other ones real quick, and then we move it over. Did I hear something? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so we, I expanded it out by one more because I needed iron and copper. I don't, I don't have it over there yet, but anyway, I needed iron and copper. I don't know if we'll have gold. If we have gold, we're hosed. I might just go up to the top one there uh, or something. I don't know what we'll do, uh, but that's where we're at here. It seems to be doing pretty good. I got all of these filled in. Uh, I've got some diamonds on me here. Uh, we put the coal in there. Nice. Cool. So... Yeah, everything's working really well. We're really liking it. We're having fun. We're doing good. This is doing great. We don't need, like we had a problem with Deep Slate and uh, yeah, 26,000 Deep Slate, 41,000 Cobblestone. We are looking great. We're feeling good. Okay, so raw nickel, what we need to do is add it to the filter and then boom, it should go up. Do what? Do we not have nickel? Isn't this nickel? Can I, can I get in here? No, it's really frustrating. <laughs> huh, I'm pretty sure that's nickel. It's not, huh, okay. So I guess maybe we'll need to go out two more um, for gold and for nickel. Um, we need one more of these guys oh, and just need one more. Um, and I guess we'll grab some polished deep slate stairs. The reason I gave earlier why we'd be hosed if we needed one more was because I figured we'd be asymmetrical. Like we, we'd have one more on one side than the other, but because we need two more, uh, it's actually gonna work out fairly well. So that'll be good. Um, okay, we can put it here. And I don't know if we set it up to pull out yet. Nope, we did not. It's just gonna stay in there until we do. Okay, so now we should see that that is gone. Good. So we'll put copper and gold in here eventually once, once we get them. All right, cool. So those are processing up really nicely. Um, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. But as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle. And next episode, we're going to be implementing all of this into our ME system. So anyways, I'll see you guys there. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.